Hello everyone, how's it going? Have you ever heard of frontotemporal dementia? Although it is rare, it's actually been in the news media lately uh, since actor uh, Bruce Willis has been diagnosed with it. Today we're going to talk about what it is, what causes it, uh, what the symptoms are, who are at risk, how it's diagnosed, and what treatments are available. If that sounds interesting to you, then keep watching. So what is frontotemporal dementia? It's also called FTD for short. It's actually a name that's given for a group of brain disorders uh, that primarily affect the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain. It's actually the most common form of dementia uh, for people who are diagnosed under age 60. Now the cause is that uh, for some reason there's a malfunction in your body that creates certain proteins. Um, over time these proteins accumulate in and around the neurons um, and they actually damage these cells. Eventually uh, it gets to the point where they don't work at all. Now they don't really understand usually why this happens. Now the frontal lobe, which is just behind the forehead, is responsible for movement, uh, planning and decision making, uh, judgment and reasoning, social skills, um, spoken language, knowing uh, what behavior is inappropriate or appropriate, uh, self-control over what you do and say. Now the temporal lobe, which is on the sides of the brain, is actually responsible for hearing, for understanding spoken language, uh, for memory, um, and also for emotional expression and processing. Now the symptoms uh, depend on the affected parts of the brain. Um, the symptoms are going to be different with everyone. It'll affect everyone differently. Uh, some of the symptoms may be similar from person to person, but it may happen in different combinations. And of course, the severity can vary. Now, there are some different subtypes. The most um, common variant is the one that affects behavior. So um, the person's behavior increasingly becomes inappropriate. They have a loss of empathy, uh, lack of judgment, loss of inhibition, they actually have a lack of interest, so they're kind of apathetic. Uh, they could start having rep repetitive behavior, like tapping, clapping, uh, smacking the lips. They neglect their personal hygiene. They actually have changes in their eating habits. Uh, they tend to overeat and to prefer sweets and carbohydrates. They even start eating inedible objects. Uh, they start compulsively wanting to put things in the mouth, kind of like you see a baby doing. Now there's primary progressive aphasia, and that affects communication, the ability to speak, write, read, and understand others. Now the variant that causes movement disorders, um, this is a rarer subtype, um, but it can cause problems with movement similar to those that are associated with Parkinson's disease and ALS. Now we, before we move on to those who are at risk, um, I'd like to just remind you to please like and subscribe if you're enjoying today's video. So there are no known risk factors um, other than having family history. Uh, but with that even being said, there are more than half the people that are diagnosed with FTD that have no family history of dementia. Now in order to be diagnosed for frontotemporal dementia, the doctor would have to do an exam, ask about personal and family history. Um, they would have to do some tests to rule out other conditions, perhaps even genetic testing. Um, do an assessment of the person's mind and behavior, and uh, do imaging of the brain. But it can be very difficult to get a diagnosis. It can take up to three years sometimes. Uh, some physicians aren't even very familiar with frontotemporal dementia. Um, but the condition can be hard to diagnose because it mirrors other disorders like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, depression, and some psychiatric disorders. Now, FTD differs from Alzheimer's um, in that you don't always, uh, you don't usually lose your memory at first. It also, there's no way to slow down the disease. So uh, the drugs that people take for Alzheimer's uh, would not help somebody with FTD, actually could make things worse. So it's very important to get um, the correct diagnosis. Now, there are some medications that can help with the symptoms. Uh, once someone is diagnosed, their life expectancy is between 7 and 13 years. 
I'd like to know in the comments below if you've had a loved one who was diagnosed with frontal temporal uh, dementia. It may help others who have received a diagnosis um, of a loved one or they're seeking a diagnosis. Your comments can be very helpful. Now, anyone could be diagnosed um, between ages 21 and 80, but most people are diagnosed with frontal temporal dementia between the ages of um, somewhere in their early 40s to their early 60s. Now, Bruce Willis is age 67. So, oftentimes family members or loved ones um, really notice like a dramatic change in personality um, well before the person themselves even notices any kind of change. So if you've noticed any of these symptoms in a loved one, please encourage them to talk with their doctor. Uh, they really need to get an accurate diagnosis. Um, they're going to need a team of experts to coordinate care. If they are diagnosed, uh, there will be many legal, financial, and emotional challenges that can be difficult to um, care for on their own. Um, even caretakers uh, would definitely want to look into in-person and online support groups. I'm going to leave some information below that may be helpful in the description box below. Check those out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you in the next video where we'll discuss another way we can improve our health.